My son, I will speak for you. Those scriptures mask your testimony from eyes that once knew your light, watched you walk upon waters, oversee flora, fauna, mammal, animal, bird, and sea creature obey your season's will, my son. Your garden legacy deed you master, alchemist, chef, cook, sorcerer of elements. You feed multitudes, flavoring nature's seed womb, my son. Why falsify your records? Hide your light. Cut circuitry from innocent eyesight, masquerading one vow well with idle sacrifice, my son. Unclean spells stray from holy wellness, creates hell for pathologic wealth, degenerates generations, my son. An icon reads, think not I come to bring peace on earth. I come not to bring peace, but a sword. Why destroy peace in your wheel done? You are reason life on earth rolls through heaven. Instead, greed eats away trees, disconnects energies, deviates gravity, habitats for humanity, erodes truth, integrity destitute, disputing life roots they brainwash memory, branding you secondary, awaiting a messiah as though your soul, our lights, are not required, my son. Too many religious saviors, too many competitive death plans, too many eyes look away from your radiance to revere a rote man, my son. I need not wait for your return. Your morning light never ceases for what I yearn. You are my testimony, my sojourn, my light, my son. You not born of man or woman. You true light of this world. You, my son, are holy reed, our spark of light that never sleeps in heart and lung. As we breathe, my son, eyes will always rise to acknowledge you. One sunny Sunday afternoon, ascending stairs, Jack London Square, on the courtyard partially barred, I sit at its pinnacle. By bay this day of heat, my senses drink greedily. Vault of heaven, bright blue, swaddles family hues, Women, men, children, babies, eyes laugh, talk, pleasing, folk walking easy, winds blowing breezy. I lift my head toward skies when suddenly sparrow graces my horizon, lands right in front of me, delivers another kind of peace. I feel silent, serene, when all at once its feathers flutter, my spine tingles, I shudder like mirrors. We look directly into one another, cock our heads to the same side. A moment of unity confides. We share and stare, then Sparrow flies and flies with a piece of my light and Sparrow's in me. Three days later, Near my lap's end, another sparrow descends. So quick, so near, without fear, it was as if sparrow demanded I stop. So I did, as it hopped from my right to my left and looked up at me. Must be a kindred spirit, I think. Amazed, I looked down at this little miracle on the ground and sense a heaviness. Release. I feel lighter a bit more free. Then Sparrow flies and flies with a piece of my light and Sparrow's in me. Now the next day, baby, the next day, more happens than I wish to say, but Sparrow's theme continued to play. Thursday night, open mic at Inner City's Blues Joint, I sat listening to poetry and prose as spoken word neared its close. A woman asked Inner City if she could sing. So she sang this very old song. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because.
because I'm free. Well, the eyes of the sparrow are watching me.